and team ban. Game 2 guys, Attack Career and FXO Esports or oh, FX Open Esports Sponsored by, I wouldn't say sponsored, but they are hosted by GOM TV from Gangnam And they have been doing a great job putting together this production value there in the main, the main show And well, this is the next one starts league guys, Grand Finals Attack are picking up Meepo in the first game, got stomped by a Temple Assassin Bounty Hunter Kind of like the Fabby match combo, and they didn't do too well. We're gonna see if they do well in game two. I'm your host, Life Santa Sonora, and I'm here with Gods. If it's still on Skype with me, I'm still here. Yep, I'm still excited here. to see what FX are having in game two. Fabby has still not died the entire tournament. Yep, I am just amazed by that. Like, no matter how it just goes to show how far ahead FX Open are above every other team. If you have a player who goes three, be two best of threes, and now the start of the best of five without a single death. You're, you're really having an easy time in this tournament. So far, FXO have had an easy time. They're here in game two after a very easy game one victory. Yep. And, well, I'm gonna see if they pick up any funny stuff here. Surprisingly, I see the OD actually banned out. It didn't work too well for them. There's like, ah, we're not gonna use it, but you are not gonna get it either. And, well. Mm. Is this OD? I, I wanna see another Meepo. I wanna see FXO pull out the Meepo. That would, that would make me happy. Yeah. That would make a lot of they probably one would do well with it as well. Yeah, one Meepo is not enough. We'll have a Meepo Grand Final. Like I said, Kappa confirmed it. Meepo. <laughs> if it goes to Game 5, it's uh, 5v5 all Meepo mid, so... <laughs> That's what Gom, Gom TV admins were saying. They're like, you get a Game 5, we'll do an all Meepo. Yeah, that, that'll happen. But yeah, Rubik picked up now for FX Open Esports. Rubik, well, he fared the last game, I must say. <laughs> he fared a little bit. But they still won. <laughs> yeah, they still won. Sargun, they still won, but that, yeah, they they I, like this Rubik pick though. I think in the previous game, I have Tiger have gotten more kills than the entire T of all the opponents that have faced FX Open thus far. Okay. Yeah. Tinker. Just in one they've game. definitely shown some just in one game. Tinker pick. You yeah. mentioned un they need some unusual picks, and they get one in the very early stages here with a Tinker. Oh well, Tinker mm, second pick. Well. I'm not sure about that, but Shadow Demon definitely a safe pick, a good pick as well. Opens up a lot of opportunities for setup, but right now I'll expect FX Open to start banning up. Wow, second pick Storm Spirit. Now that's something else we don't normally see. They're banning, they're picking and banning very casually here. I feel not making any aims to well, secure their hide their strategies. And like I said, early Tinker pick means a very early Storm Spirit as well. Storm Spirit one of the best counters to a Tinker. Tinker really can't do much against a Storm Spirit. Zip on in, kill you. You can't do anything, and well, to see what the storm else. wouldn't have come out early. If, I don't think they would have picked storm as early if that wasn't the tinker pick. I think that, like you said, it's a, it's a counter pick for sure. Yeah, and I think tinker is gonna be, tinker is gonna be destroyed this game. It's he's gonna have a hard time. It'll come down like somewhat to the first five ten minutes if storm is versing tinker mid, whichever team has sort of the better roaming support who can get some early kills should come out on top as far as who does better, storm or tinker. I imagine FXO will be ganking that Tinker non-stop. Tinker could always go like offlane or to the Ancient though, so he's not guaranteed to be solo mid. Yeah, but yeah, again, the Respect Untying ban, banning out Alchemist as well. Life Stealer to prevent that bomb, so very obvious ban here. And they will be looking for another ban. Do we see a Skyrath Mage here from Eye of Tiger? I mean, it'll be a good pickup against Storm Spirit. Definitely not bad, having the silence, maybe even send Skyrath Maiden. You can always put Tinker safe by, that's something which a few teams used to do. Uh, back in sort of TI2, MTW loved to run that safely in Tinker, so... He's not a must-put solo mid hero, but it's something which FXO can't just immediately say, okay, they picked Tinker, it's gonna be mid. Uh, they've got to make sure they have a balanced overall lineup, which they can still do. They can do lots of different things with their Storm Spirit pick, they don't have to send in mid as well. Uh, they can get all kinds of different carry options, so... We'll see what they want to get here. They want to get something that can sort of be aggressive and roam around a lot, like last game. I, I think they probably even go back for a bounty hunter again, just because they're, they're such an aggressive game. 
and we see anti mage banned out here. And another thing, of course, I'm very happy with the Koreans is they never pick anti mage. This entire tournament, I've not casted a single anti mage game. And and the best part was he's not even banned every game. They just don't pick anti mage, and we see they just profit. So mass push coming global. out. Yeah, pushing global split push and just like global presence. You can TP anywhere on the map and make just profit. Similar sort of ish story with Tinker. FXO, they're going to try to get first damage to first down. The problem is Stormtrooper is the perfect counter to split push and this global presence because he can pick off those heroes who are split pushing so easily. Yeah, and I, I see the chat calling up for Zeus. <laughs> I want Zeus Spectre, last two picks. Yeah, that will work because that will mean support Tinker, support Prophet. You could do Jungle Prophet, I guess. Jungle Prophet, solo, no, solo, offlane Tinker? Probably offlane Tinker. And like the ancient, ancient or offlane Tinker. tinker. Yeah. And they are Mediah, so they could do that. They have Zeus on the middle lane against Storm Spirit. He does decently well until the gangs come in from Rubik to Sarge, then Storm Spirit will just have easy pickings on the Zeus. Still, Zeus is a very powerful support that. Oh, well, no, I mean, it's a very powerful hero that can nuke down supports. Especially with this tri lane meta, I, I'm, I'm surprised to see teams have not been willing to experiment with Zeus. Zeus does a lot of damage to the supports. The Lightning Bolt is enough to just take a support to 3 quarters. Uh, well, take off 3 quarters of a support's HP if he does get the good start at level 7 early on. And, you know, often we see a lot of teams where the supports drop really low in the early engagements because they're level 3, they're level 2, level 4, and Zeus just sits on all those guys. And we see a clockwork here say they might be going for global. Team global. It's it's all very high mobility. You can have heroes who can just move a long distance in a short amount of time. Their last pick, it looks like they need to support here, but I, we may even see an unusual last pick coming out from them. They're going to have Clockwork, who most likely is the offlaner. Tinker can go mid or safe lane. Nexus Prophet can go jungle. He can go offlane as well. So they, they could have their three core heroes with Tinker, Prophet, Clockwork, but I think we may be seeing a jungle Nature's Prophet. Yeah, we see a Juggernaut. So the Juggernaut picked up by FX Open. Not so sure what's the theory behind this. They want to go for maybe a bit of counter push. I don't know, because mm. the you can you can push a bit with the healing ward and the familiars. And Rubik into a Juggernaut. Juggernaut does a lot of damage, so he does set up yep. the Sarge's nuke a lot as well. So it's a good tri lane, tri lane hero. They might need an off lane now. It could be they ban out Lone Druid. Yeah, I guess Lone Druid is good. It's hard to pick him off. Weaver will be banned here for Eye of Tiger. So we're going to see what I think Eye of Tiger are actually going to pick now. They already have an off lane though, so I'm not so sure how a uh, Weaver would fit into this lineup. I think and it would be their main carry if they picked a Weaver. Like, run a, a Shadow Demon Weaver lane in the safe lane or something. Or I guess you could put Tinker in the Tinker in the safe lane farm and Clockwork mid, but I think Weaver would have actually been a nice last pick for Eye of the Tiger. But if they want to go global, Weaver doesn't really fit in. <laughs> Yeah, so, well, we can see how it goes. FX open, I would say they have the better draft right now. This, normally, I don't see a Tinker Prophet working. It really works. i rather they go for a Prophet, Death Prophet, like I said yesterday. Death Prophet and Prophet is amazing in terms of the push power. And now we see a Puck. So, the bit of that silence for that Storm Spirit, it's good and all. Uh, but, I don't know. Iowa Tiger, they are very lacking right now. They are really, really, they really, send... really cheesing this. They are, it's pretty much an all-in early game to mid-game push. They really can't drag it to the late game, especially since this FX is... Open, they have an option to pick a last carry as well. Yeah, this is not looking good by the Tiger because they're most likely going to be running Tinker in the safe lane with Shadow Demon, and they're just going to get an offensive tri lane against Tinker. Uh, FX Open will almost definitely go offensive tri lane because Nature's Prophet's jungle, so they know it's probably going to be a tri lane versus a dual lane. Storm does okay versus Puck mid. And then the offlane's a clockwork. You can find the hero. Your last pick can be a hero that can beat the clockwork in lane. Um, Lone Druid, one of the best heroes, has been banned out, but heroes like Dax are still in the pool. Um, so there's plenty of options. Who's Ma that, sorry? Meepo. Mapo. Yeah, Meepo. Need Meepo. <laughs> Meepo, please. Meepo does okay against clockwork. I don't have any problems with Meepo. Um, Meepo in any 1v1 matchup where Meepo's in safe lane is great. That's why he was picked last game, because they thought it would be against Bounty Hunter. Because Meepo 1v1 against Bounty Hunter is good, but. Didn't happen. Maybe this time around, FXO, they pull out their enemy though. Yeah, do it. I mean, it's the grand finals. You have not dropped a single game. Some of your players have not died. Do it. Brute mother. Brute. Okay, so not exactly the most amusing 
of heroes, but it's good against Clockwork. Clockwork has the flare, but still, it doesn't do as much damage at the early stages and will not be able to farm up the, the spiders as it zombies. But I would have preferred a space cow to be honest, but hey, they're gonna space be cow. doing Brute Mother, and Brute Mother is pretty good as well. And right now, I don't see Eye of Tiger actually doing this. I, I just don't, really. I, I hate to be pessimistic right at the draft, but I've seen this kind of draft before. Tinker and Prophet feels a bit too much. It feels really yeah, too much. Brute, I don't Brute, like it. If, if, I feel like just the individual skill that FX Open have, Brute could just completely outplay Clockwork if they're against each other. Um, assuming it is going to be Clockwork in the offlane, it's actually picked up by Febro, who normally plays their support, so maybe it's even Clockwork support in their tri lane. Uh, some teams like Dignitas have run a, a Clockwork support, so maybe it's something a bit different coming out here. And they could, but then if, if it's if it's Clockwork support, you have a Nature's Prophet in the offlane, and that does not go well against Brood. I feel like Brood is going to be a hard hero to stop if he's in a one v one matchup. Yeah, the chat's excited for the Zilk Rush, so more Starcraft references, and we will jump Places into everyone. the game. Jump into the game, and on the side of FX, oh, we have Sakun going to be. Doing his role as the Rubik once again. Anarchy is going to be on the Visage. Hopefully he stops dying. QO on Storm Spread. March on the Juggernaut. And who's Fabi? Fabi is the Brute Mother. We're going to see if he dies this time. February will be on Clockwork. So oh, Fabi and February. Oh, that'll be a problem. And it's going to be Mafia on Shadow Demon. Ryzen on the Tinker. They're all going bottom. And Wang Yu going to be on the... I think this is a trialing Clockwork. The disruption into the Clockwork yes. trap. Yeah, so it's going to be a Banwa. The hard carry player actually playing Nature's Prophet and Wang Yu will be on the puck. Yeah, they they tried to dodge. Uh, this is I think they're just trying to dodge the trial lane from FXO. They they're expecting a trial lane top from FXO and they're like, okay, we don't want to burst this. Let's trial lane bottom. We'll get Sentry Ward to the brute so they can see the brute using Sentry Wards and try and win bottom lane. But that's not gonna. Be, I don't feel like this, this trial lane of theirs, Tinker, Clockwork, Shadow Demon. If the two supports rotate bottom, it's gonna be. Bad news for them. Nature's Prophet can't go top. Nature's Prophet has to go almost straight jungle. Yeah, a pick off into a spin is instant death. And well, surprised to see they actually pull QO a heck lot of regen. He go, he went for a null talisman, two branches. That's a lot of base damage. And they go sh they pull him a tangle as well as a salve. So that's very greedy coming up from from the storm spirit. I feel that's a bit too much. It might harm their supports a little bit. Wang Q will have a hard time last hitting. You know what? No, but Puck has 58 base damage, same as the Storm now. Storm has 61, but they're going to be even now in terms of the last hitting power. Yeah, the, having the good last hit, having the Null Talisman makes a big difference in mid lane. And to get the Null Talisman, you need to be pulled some regen. So I think this is okay for them because their supports at top, they're going to be in a trial lane versus trial lane. Or are they? Clockwork's now come top. It's Clockwork Prophet at top. It's dual lanes coming out from Eye of the Tiger. I, don't like this, this is unusual from them. Yeah, I don't like this either because they can't really kill the brood. Sure, they have sentries there and can harass brood, but brood is not going to die here. He's actually going to do just fine. Yeah, the, the clock trap would have been the death of Doom and well, Mar Fab, Fabi's record, but uh, the clock was not going to get anything here. I think they're just not willing to waste the EXP. Yes, well, and we see the two supports actually rotating in the middle. Jungle, so. Yeah, what would go solo top? And here we go. The, yeah, the supports are just going to go. Pull at bottom lane, maybe even go for like a somewhat, somewhat of a tri lane here, because they can't really gank mid it. They're going to completely win this bottom lane for the brood, I imagine. Yep, and well, Kyo is already doing pretty well in the last hits. It's 4 to 3, and 2 to 3 here for Wang Yu. Wang Yu, well, doing a good job in terms of the last hit power and not and whatnot, but still. I think they should have still gone for the Clockwork tri lane. They don't want to give Juggernaut free reign, I think, but still. Fabi. If you give him free reign, your Shadow Demon will not be able to do much. Shadow Demon is one of those heroes that do not work well against rushes. And now we're going to see a very fast rotation in, and they might be in a little bit of trouble. They spot the Rubik coming in. Still not backing there. Very poor map awareness here from Ryzen. Is he going to get pick up? Yeah, pick up here. Disruption. Nope. Disruption on the Visage. And we have a March of Machines coming here for Saku. Saku might be a little trouble. Here come the Spiders. Yeah, this will be the death of him. And he will die. Laser as well. Oh, wow. He gets the first kill. The first blood goes to the Tinker. Wow, good job from him. He will get a kill. The I see a Prophet TPing in. He did not TP. In. So Mafia, he is in a little bit of trouble, gets picked up and Fabi will get this kill. Bites, bites and bites and Rubik will get that kill. So Sagan gets a good rotation in. Very poor map awareness from Tinto, I must say. He was right yeah, in his face weird. and he did not back off. So Yeah, he was very slow to retreat. He, he ends up getting the first blood, but he definitely should have retreated there. Uh, Brood oh, was ready to cut down. Could be in a little bit of trouble there. Uh, no, that's not in trouble. I think the Clockwork wants to get it because there are a lot of creeps there. Juggernaut March diving a little bit far. Fabi, very tanky. 
will not be going down to just a f just a full spin without any support. So Ryzen, I must say, not good map awareness at all. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not the best. Oh, it's okay. It ends up okay for Ryzen just with that first blood, but still shouldn't have happened. And FXO got two kills out of it. They got a much better trade. And you can see that, that this brood is actually not too bad in the trial. And you get the extra slow coming from the spiderlings, and as a result, your killing power here is actually quite scary, especially once we get a few more levels here. Visage did die there, so he hasn't got any points in Soul Assumption, so he's got, just got the one in Grave Kill. Yeah, what? How much does the spiderling slow? I think it's 15. Wow, that's pretty good. It's yeah. better only than the. Me. Yeah, only the big spiderlings, not the baby spiderlings. Yeah. Fabi has to be very careful here, but. Then again, Marsh doesn't have any spins, so Clockwork should be okay here in the middle lane. Wang Yu getting the first rune of the, well, the second rune. So Storm Spirit gonna suffer a little bit. Still has not have his, has his bottle. Yeah, now gonna have his bottle. Fabi gonna fly himself out with Soul Ring, but he has to wait till the bottle is actually flown up to Storm. But Soul Ring for the Brute Mother now. That is gonna be helping him a lot. He's level 5. And I don't, I don't think Shadow Demon will be able to deal with this Spawn Spider Link kind of engagement now. So I don't even may just have to leave this lane. Even Tika can't. They can't leave the tower at bottom. They, it's oh just wow! Too dangerous. Can't get the solo kill and stomp. Oh no! Uh, proper proper TP proper in for proper this. Proper. Yeah, yeah, he makes a TP and gets a gets a kill on the storm. And this is before storm hits level six. It looks like storm was trying to push up the lane before the rune spawn, so he could yeah. so he could get make sure he gets the rune. But it didn't actually work out because proper TP didn't and punished him. Yeah, but the rune was denied by Rubik, so no no rune for Puck bottom. So good play. And he's gonna throw an orb just to push up the creep wave a little bit and run back to base. And well, good job for Park actually getting that kill in the middle lane. Very important to just slow down Storm as much as you can. Storm only sitting at level 5. He will need another minute before he can hit the level 6. And March, meanwhile, has a good time up top. We'll have Omni Slash available for him soon. Has managed to phase out the clockwork from the lane. But yeah, good rotation in from the Prophet. And uh, Prophet now straight back to the jungle. So he's gonna keep on farming his way up and. The problem is now this for this bottom lane, now that Bebby has his soaring up, he's just gonna keep on spamming nukes at Shadow Demon and whoever. Tinker actually abandons lane, he's just going top now. He's he's realized he can't get much farm at bottom and he's gonna take the easier lane against Jug, but Juggernaut has phase boots and is level six, so if Juggernaut gets some money, he could go for a kill with an Omni Slash. Yeah, but he doesn't have soaring or any of that, so he will not be able to get any kills here, but Ryzen will get some space up top. Drop the march now is a good idea. Dropping the march now will be a good idea, yeah. He dropped the march. And we'll be getting last getting some last hits under the tower. It should be pretty easy for him. Yeah, don't miss any. No, he misses one. So he will get a little bit of money, but still very far from his soul ring. Uh well from his ring well from his boots to travel because he does need to get that soul ring or that bottle early on before you can actually abuse that travels. So we're gonna see what he decides to go for. Maybe the travels first might be a good idea. Even if it's yeah, I definitely think it, getting the travels first is nice and all, but you can't really abuse it until you have your soul ring as well on top of that. So even if you get go straight travels, he still has to keep on farming to finish off that soul ring. Yeah, at least travels will. It's a bigger chunk of gold, and that is before yes. the creeps here. And the soul ring has a better build up, and yeah, I think rushing the travels first will be a good idea. He's Smoke about a thousand gold. Should have even smoked out, maybe trying to gain mid, but Storm's already level 6, so killing this isn't really oh, up. Good double damage up of Benoit. Is he gonna go? He's gonna go for a pull. He might get silence here. He, oh, wow, miss on the silence. QO, big mistake. And well, QO is out of mana now. The call's gonna miss, but Soul Catcher as well. That's gonna be the death of the Storm Spirit. Is it? Is it? Oh, disruption. That, that will definitely be a kill. Yep, pop as well. So, I'm not so sure it was worth it. Not, not the best. He did force three heroes to come through. Well, the SD was already on his way, and I think there was a little bit of a misplay there where the puck could have landed the uh, silence. Been a bit more patient with the silence there, but still he will get the kill on the Nature's Prophet, so that does slow down Prophet a little bit, but it does not by too much. He will slow his Midas down, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I, this Midas is not coming for a long, long time, and the other big thing that happened was just before that, Tinker died and talked to the Juggernaut solo, and Omni Slash was used. Oh. And uh, Juggernaut then goes home, he's gonna heal himself up, he'll probably come back top and maybe look to pressure Tinker again. He doesn't have Omni Slash, but even just with some auto attacks oh. combined with a, a level 4 Blade Crew, he can get killed. Yeah, Puck was in a little bit of trouble there. He bottled himself up, but he will not have any uh, mana. He only has one mana for an orb right now. And again, I'm very surprised to see a Puck. Like we saw yesterday, he was going against the Quap, he did not go for uh, Max Silence, he meant for Max Orb. Max Silence would have been better on Storm Sprint, I feel. 
Top lane's in trouble. Yep. Tinker thinks he's jumping yeah, just to juggle this over a big as well. Yeah. Wave Fury. They need to probably need to use a fade bolt for this. Yeah, they will do so in race and actually gets away from the blade fury. Nice bit of juking there coming out from oh, Tinker. Oh, Sargun might die there. Laser off cooldown. Two seconds. Here, second. oh. Here comes Prophet. Oh no, the right click gets him. So Laser did not come out there. Good juke there by Sakun runs into trees, so he doesn't get yeah. caught by the laser. So a little good of He could have lasered the Juggernaut though. If he lasers Juggernaut, he survives, because Juggernaut then he misses, so it was yeah. it was a bit weird. Tinker I think just panicked there and he made he made a slight misplay, but either way he was in trouble. He should have died anyway, he actually managed to juke the Juggernaut spin off him, even though Juggernaut had phase boots and in the end, it's, it's another another death to Tinker. He now has three deaths at just eight minutes in. Yep, the first death was very unnecessary. But like I said, this draft from Eye of Tiger, they should be stomping early. Should be taking tier ones. But it's eight minutes in, and you're not taking a single tower. Not a single. T well, the first tower is taking a little bit of damage, but that's about it. And now Juggernaut with the Omni Slash, he wants another kill. Do it with flare. Yeah, Juggernaut. Can he find it here, bottom lane? There is completely retreated uh, February on that clockwork as uh, he's level 6 now, so we'd love to see him start ganking a game where I come on the map. He's going to pick up Arcane Boots, it looks like. He's got, yeah, he's got enough money. He gets Arcane Boots for his team, which is, I think at this point, a pretty decent pickup. It'll help just the, the overall team in many aspects, as well as just give him a bit more mana to use for ganking, because he really needs to start, get active, get some kills for either Tiger. Sure, they are three kills to five, but they're quite far behind as far as farm goes. Yeah, but Juggernaut, he is rotated down bottom, and the spider, the, because of Tinker's presence, I think Brute Mother wasn't able to push the tower. The tower is nearly at full HP. That will change now. Take a little bit of damage, healing ward as well. We'll stall up the speed wave. He will use Blade Fury to destroy the wave, and yeah, looks to take this tower here. And I, I kind of like soaring, soaring Juggernaut. I think rushing it will be really good. And I'm surprised to see a lot of people not getting it. What about what are your impressions about this? Soaring Juggernaut is actually really good. Why it's nice because you have the unlimited mana is nice because without the soul ring or a bottle you always have mana problems but i think the way teams make up for it is by getting arcane boots on your teammates like at later on visage and rubik will have arcane boots and then juggernaut won't have mana problems yeah but they're still really far even though they took this tower it's still a little bit far from that Oh, anywhere from that tier 1 and now I think Kyo might have zipped on in on the Shadow Demon if he's not careful, gets a rocket to the face, the creep wave will go down. So, at least they slow it down a little bit. February has gone for max in the rocket flash, going for a bit of a split push. And the spider links do slow your movement speed by 15, it's a raw value, so it's not a movement percentage, I think. Okay. But still, it's, it's a lot on heroes like CM, who really lack a lot of movement speed. And... I'm not sure how it works if it stacks or not. If you have like multiple spiderlings, it just uh, I don't think I... it would stack. It, would... it sounds OP. Yeah, I don't think it would either. <laughs> sounds very OP. It does sound a bit OP. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I imagine it would not stack. And we'll see Brood now up against his Tinker Top. It's, it's like you say, it's hard to push into him, but. Oh, Fabi. Go, go for it. Oh, what a hook shot here for Fabi. Is there a sentry ward there? Yeah, there's a sentry ward. Fabi will be going down for the first time this tournament. And uh, well, there goes your record, man. March still hasn't died though, so they've still got one player with no deaths. It's all up to March now in this Juggernaut to, uh, to preserve his pure record. Uh, yeah, here comes Juggernaut. He is looking for trouble as well. What a bait in by, by Tinker as well. They're like, oh, Tinker's free pickings because he has bad map awareness and then... Hello, Clockwork, and here we go, QO. He's using the Remnant to scout the site. Oh, Visage actually goes down Anarchy, living up to his name of dying at least once a game. And now we go. Juggernaut, oh, running through the March. This is not a good idea. He will die as well. March, oh, he goes into Omni Slash, but he will die. He pushes by the Clockwork, and they are throwing really hard right now. <laughs> they lost three heroes, and, well, a lot of people get prizes. Good guy, FXO. Rice Slash, yeah. congratulations. What's up? Congratulations, and Hanzo. Congratulations as well. So now all of them have oh. all the perfect scores gone. Dyer's middle tower is under yeah, attack. perfect scores gone and FXO. Well, there's some fan. They give some items to some of their fans out there, maybe who are watching now in Dota TV. But uh, there's still a, there's still a long way to go. Never go for EG. That's what the chat's saying right now. Oh, flies out. Clear up the clear up the spiders. Oh, Banwa. He just got trap now. Yeah, Banwa's dead. Ben. Banner's dead. Tinker, Tinker with boots to travel, but he still doesn't have a soaring, so he has just the ball here, which is still okay and will help him out, but he needs a soaring as well. Yeah, on the flip side, Sargoon's actually 3 for 0 right now, so compared to his normal dying, he's actually stomping with yep. the Rubik. It's 
it's good to see on him. He's having a much better game here. Juggernaut's going to stockpile quite a good amount of gold. He's got 1,400, so may see the drums picked up or may just look to even rush a bigger item, like a Shadow Blade, whatever it may be. So overall, Epic, so they're not looking as convincing this game as they have well, in their other games. In. See, Wang yeah. Yu, a little bit of trouble here. Pick up here as well. He will go down to the Brute Mother. So good chain standing here from all the heroes, and they get a kill on Pop. 7-7 seven seven now. Even on kills, it's a very small lead for FXO on goal. Uh, but it's actually either Tiger who are ahead on XP right now by 1,000. So this is a much better game coming out from either Tiger altogether. And they can get a few more kills and towers in the next couple of minutes. So we'll and diving, decent. diving Thinker was a bad idea because you gave him all the assist goals, a lot of kills as well. I think he got the kills. So yeah, he got two of those kills. So that helped him with the BTs. And giving that the Tinker was actually really shut down, he would have really late BTs if it wasn't for that. And now with the BTs, he can cause a lot of havoc Banwa. And with the Midas up, the Prophet's looking to snowball. With this Martial Machines, this tower will take a lot of damage. Yeah, he's gonna rearm, he's gonna TP out of there. You no, know, Ryzen still has the mana for it, he's going for the Soul Ring as well. So, now once Tinker gets his BTs and Bottle, the Soul Ring comes really quickly after, and that is when your nightmares start to happen. I mean, yes, you have Storm Spirit, but there's a Prophet and there's a Tinker. You can't just go diving in using all your mana to try to kill a Tinker if Clockwork can engage a new Prophet can keep in. And Puck as well, once Puck has a blink, a blink silence of the Storm will really hurt him. And this is an under farm Storm. Storm is, has three deaths and very little farm because of his bad start. Yeah, he should stick to Queen of Pain. <laughs> Fabulous. Queen of Pain's oh. been impressive so far. Yep, QO, he's built for it, man. QO's QO, QO. But now they're looking at Fabi. They have a sense reward. No, they don't. They're waiting for it. Look at all these campers. Camping Dota, this is not Call of Duty. Uh, they're gonna, they're definitely <laughs> no, no, no. going Call in for Duty, it. Call of Duty, you don't camp. Counter, Counter Strike is the camping game. <laughs> oh, really? So you just hide behind boxes. Oh, Pop. Goodbye, Pop. Are you gonna die, Pop? Oh, uh, no. They pick up Shadow Team. Shadow Team in a lot of trouble here. Zip on in. Mafia will die immediately. Saku on a killing spree. Zip on in. Gets on Ryzen. Ryzen, don't know what he was doing there, but there is a much machine. They're diving it once again. Saku dropping very low. Is there gonna be a kill here? Clock, clock. Once a punch. Once a punch. One poke. And there goes your Rubik. Juggernaut on the slash, zip on it, QO gonna slow him down, what a sprout, gonna block them eh? And well, is he gonna run away? I think he will get out in time. There is the pool here, Banwa, Banwa will get the kill. Yeah, he will get a kill. Familiars will pick him off though, now 11 to 8 there, 4 heroes lost. Good gank, and well, the camping didn't work too well. Only the Rubik died for that, they're gonna get a T1 tower, to, uh, tower out of it. Epic so just, just had the levels and positioning they needed. Uh, the Storm Spirit got the pick offs he wanted, Juggernaut came in at the right time, the Healing Wall was there healing people up, and Brood while Spiling were just doing decent damage as well as scouting, so yeah, either Tiger just take a bad engage with that. I don't think they, the hiding, if anything, it, it worked against them. They're, they're trying to do something too fancy and too tricky, if they'd taken that fight head up, rather than try to use that fancy back something, I think it would have gone a lot better for them. Yeah, and now Familiars to spot out the Puck, Benwa going to work towards his Shadow uh, shadow Blade, he has the Midas, so his goal does skyrocket pretty fast, and I hear a uh, ping from Kyo, but Kyo's a little bit lower mana now, so I'm not so sure what he's looking for. He wants to zip in, but I don't think that's too successful. Zipping in with no mana is a sure death for Storm Spirit. Yeah, I, I agree, and uh, as we're, he's just going to push out this lane a bit, get a bit more farm, even with this Illusion Ring there, he doesn't want to get that mana back just yet, but he will join up with his team at mid, and they may be going to find some kills as Clockwork and Puck, they're kind of caught out alone here. Oh, what a hook here on Sargoon. Sargoon, a little bit of trouble gets picked off. He will try and throw, he does not throw the clock out, he steals the co the cogs, but that's not going to save Double his life. Cold. He will die, and the missile the missile spam here from Ryzen is going to do a lot of damage. Are they going to dive it? They might actually go for it. No Omni Slash. They pop the healing ward. Are they going to deny? No, no healing ward. So... Yeah, the healer was gonna heal them all, but march, uh, fighting through the march is not a good idea. Yeah, they're gonna kill off the healing ward now, and it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to chase down march. March backs off. Uh, it's just gonna wait out here. Uh oh, top lane. QO is looking for a kill, and I think he's gonna get it on profit. Yeah, but he doesn't have the mana. Uh, yeah, he will have it. Yeah. He's gonna regen rune as well, but oh, he doesn't need to Yeah, he got it. Yeah. So, Prophet out of position once again, and now Storm Spirit is going to abuse that regeneration. One of the best moves for him, but middle lane, what a coil. Going to catch them there. They get the kill on Juggernaut, they get the kill on Visage. They lose the Shadow Demon in return, but that is a good pickup here. And here comes Storm Spirit. He wants a zip on in on Puck. He will get what a face shift, but he's going to die anyway. And I don't think February should be staying in the neighborhood. He tries to go for the cops, pull away, and there is going to be a pull. And the regeneration going to be lost here by QO, but he's going to get a kill. Zip on in. The Spider Links will get that kill now. So, Fabi. Yep. Dropping a little bit nice away. aggression. 
Epexo doing some nice aggression here. Uh, Storm Spirit not being the most efficient with his mana, throwing away a lot of mana unnecessarily with that ultimate use. But at this point, it doesn't matter. It's very far ahead after these last couple fights, and Storm Spirit is just was in a great position to win that fight for him because of because of the route he took and having that regen rune and getting getting him back up to full mana. He was just there was nothing either Tiger could really do to get out of there. Ryzen, he has 1,000. Gonna see if he goes to the Blink Dagger. I'm not so sure Arnie just profit. Why? What's he done now? Uh, Ryzen, he died to Juggernaut solo. Omni Slash was used, but still died solo. Unfortunate. Think, uh, Nature's not so sure what he wants to go for. Actually, oh, here we go. Ryzen in a lot of trouble. Fabi chasing him down. Is there time for a rearm? No time for a rearm. He goes for the laser. He goes for the rearm. And I think we'll get out of there. BKB and bye bye, Tinker. <laughs> I know where he's going. He's, he's going six feet under. Yeah. Well, Fabi. Buys buy back, back into the oh, game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, he's gonna. He wants to defend bottom. Not a rage buyback. He's actually trying to do this to defend the bottom tower. It was a fairly cheap buyback, 500 gold. And I guess back. holding this bottom tower is oh, maybe wow. worth it. Soldier, though, found a good mid. Takes out Park. He doesn't even need. He doesn't even have his orchid yet, and he's getting that kill on Park, which. I mean, that's, you... That shouldn't be happening. He is level 14, this guy. He had a bad start, but now he's still good. Dyer's bottom tower is under bottom T2 tower now on the seat. Even with the Tinker buyback, they're still unable to defend this tower. This is it really goes to show how much control over the game FXO have. Just taking this tower uncontended here. Martin Machine's gonna come in, but it's it's placed so far back and it's hardly doing any damage. Oh what hook shot? Where? Where? Oh no, it hits on the familiar. I think it hit a bird. Yeah, it got familiar. blocked by the birds. Yeah, nice play by this it. Much going down to the that market. Korean micro man. Yeah. Korean micro at its best. That block, that trap card, but the thing is, the thing with EOT, like I said, their draft is based solely on split push. They cannot fight at all. Uh, well, I say they cannot fight, they can fight when items come up on the Prophet and Tinker, but they've been shut down so hard. The Storm Spirit pick was very quick. If they wanted to go for something cheesy like that, they should have banned out the Storm Spirit because he is one of the best counters to something, to something like that. And Banwa, well, they can't fight, so if they FXO goes for aggressive like this, Brute Mother, they take fights, they go to your towers, you have to fight. And that's when you have a lot of problems, the Visage, the Rubik, the Juggernaut, all these heroes are in your face. They run up to you, spin, and then get the Omni Slash off, so... Like I said, bad draft from EOT. Yeah, it's, they went very, very cheesy with with this draft today, with all the, the split push and stuff. And they, they didn't execute it very well, and to begin with, it was going to be a hard draft to execute. They didn't have a real good answer for the Brood Mother pick, and oh, well, wow. we're going to see them try and engage in Roshan. There's a hook, there's a cog, but it doesn't matter. BKB gets blocked by Febby. Febby's going to turn this around. He brings down the clockwork instantly. They're not going to finish off Roshan, but QO's blowing in. Once the Tinker, he silences Tinker, but Tinker's out of mana anyways, and well, Storm finishes off Tinker, moves on to the next target. It's Mafia. Mafia is not getting away from this Brood. Brood gets the kill. Three for nothing. Puck is well in trouble. He's got all but two seconds, but that may be too late. Two seconds too late. Double kill, coming yeah. the way of QO. They absolutely destroy Eye of the Tiger. They may go back for Roshan, but they're probably just thinking, oh, we can get some powers, we can do some more damage elsewhere. Yeah, but the Puck isn't actually doing a good job this game. He has been missing his silences, he hasn't been hitting his orbs, his coils are subpar at best, so I don't know. He missed silence on, on the Storm Spirit just now. He just, I, I think he was just like jamming his buttons at, and his booth there. Because he saw a lot of a lot of things flying around, the birds, the spiders, everything. All that micro going on, that Zerp rush. And he just panicked and just jammed his spells. He killed a bunch of spiders, but that was about it. Yeah, now they're going to go back to the Roche Champion, so they'll finish this off. Uh, there, there's even a rune waiting at bottom for the Storm Spirit if he wants to grab it, which he, he will do. So, QO now. More mana to his name, full bottle once again, and Roshan, there's there's no stopping Roshan going down here. Clockwork does have a shot, and I don't know, he's not going for it. He's just going to throw a rocket, barat, a rocket player in. Storm now is ancient. Yeah, and Orchid Storm is something you don't want to deal with. His power rises exponentially with this Orchid, so... This Storm was under farm. He was 1 and 3 and looking really poor, but now he's suddenly looking like one of the highest networks in the game. He's, he's just he's, behind he's, the 3 level 15. He looks like a hero yeah. level. Brood is 16. Brood is absolutely massive right now. I think Brood bought something. What's coming out on the Korea? This blade mail. They all they're all going blade mail for the Tinker. This is uh, <laughs> this is the the mail mana blade mail. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this Tinker is going to be Dead. in tears soon. I uh, 
Uh, it's actually a really smart idea here. Like, I don't... This isn't even... Like a, a, I mean, it's kind of gimmicky, but it's a good kind. It's the kind of gimmicky that's working here. This is something which will mean that Tinker can't defend him with Martin Machines because he'll just die to these places. Yeah, it's a it's a mana threat. Yeah. Yeah. Same as a Mass Dagon. Yeah. Ma Look at like StarCraft 2 with yeah. all like the mana Man mana stuff. mules, like, yeah. Like, top tower has <laughs> they only have two blade mails. They need more though. Oh, Vis Visage has enough money. He's got one coming too. Oh, Storm has one. They have three. Okay, so they've got Blade Mail on three of their heroes and two more coming soon. Juggernaut's building one, as is Visage. Uh, oh, this is like, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he killed him. <laughs> oh, no, Rune uh, Mother had one as well, so yeah. That was they have three. There's two more coming. Everyone's going to have Blade Mail. <laughs> this is you. Uh, well, they tried. Oh. Someone in chat says Tinker can still buy Cyclone. Cyclone with what money? <laughs> he has not got the money for that. Actually, he's gonna get turned around here with a Nature's Prophet. Oh, what a dive! A dive. They lost They're a diving hard. Storm is aged though. Yeah. Oh, Prophet. Oh, Prophet finally has his Shadow Blade. They could go for the Visage. Anarchy, Anarchy. Yep, kill him. Try and get him. 200 HP. Two clicks. Just do it. He you knows. It's too dangerous. I'm waiting for Tinker to respawn and then die to Blade Mail again. <laughs> I, 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 he he's gonna lay off Tinker. the march now. He's gonna lay it off. He's gonna go for even rockets. Ro rockets though, like you can just blade mail rockets and Tink will take a ton of damage because you blade mail. It casts two rockets and if you blade mail both of them, oh, it's like he five goes for the march. How are you gonna walk into it? Nah, no. they don't have enough. Healing. They're too low. They're too low. Yeah. They don't. They have healing ward now though, so they're gonna heal up. Uh, oh. oh wow, what a coil! For once, he gets a coil on three. Laser brings down the storm spread. And wow, are we seeing easy throws? Anarchy, go drop really low. Is there an Omni Slash? No, Juggernaut is caught out. Micro Illusions gonna block up the Juggernaut for just a while that he goes into the Shadow Blade. So, oh, hook shot. Not gonna catch there. I thought he was gonna hit Captain Bamboo, but no, he does not. And Fabio will get out of there alive. So will the Juggernaut, but still, they did a lot of damage. At least FX, though, so, um, oh, taking the chance to. They're winning in stuff. Yeah, they're winning in stuff. They're doing it for the crowd. I mean, and the best thing to do for the crowd is when you're 2-0 up in the best of five and really, really yeah. able to win this one. It's the big Mipho. Yeah, I, I agree. They need some Mipho. They need some other fun, unusual picks. Someone cage Gangnam. Make it compulsory. The, get, the, get, the, the crowd at the Gangnam Studio was absolutely fantastic. Like, I saw pictures coming out from Go TV, and it looks like it's a completely packed crowd for Dota 2, which is... Awesome to hear. Yep. Blade mail strat. Best strat. <laughs> oh well, now they have five blade mills. So rest in peace in peace, Tinker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die under a second. He's gonna regret just putting out one march, I think. Even throw out rockets. He'll throw heat heat seeking missiles, they'll get blade mailed and uh oh, oh he's put march down. Do uh -oh. He is gonna uh -oh. do it, he's gonna uh -oh. be in. Yeah, they're in. gonna walk through it. Goodbye! <laughs> flew in. Storm actually flew in from afar! <laughs> yes, for that. He's sick in the bar. Oh my god. This is. This is cruelty. This is human. Uh, this is humiliation. Please, please report Team Epic. There should be a team report option. Like, you can report players. What if I want to, like, report a full team? <laughs> Epic, so this is just. This is worse than animal abuse. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. At least they decided to have fun. FX all seem to well, they seem to do a lot of safe strats. I feel they're not doing anything really out of the ordinary. Do very straight safe strats. And wow, wow, Ben, what actually taking Rex bottom top lane? Taking okay. Rex. I don't think it matters. But yeah, he's taking Rex top lane. I'm gonna try and bring Fabit here. Trians, come on, Sprout Trians, don't do this alone, man. Not alone. He's just gonna come back and die again. It's happening. They need a mech, they also they need this healing ward up, but uh, FX are taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, they are actually gonna lose the Rex, they are just gonna ignore it. Yeah, I don't this. think they care. I, I think they're just like, oh well, we got this. Healing ward gets killed off. Oh, nice dodge then. Here comes the stop. The backstab gets one kill. Can they get more? Man, they oh, lost double Rex. Laser! Oh, Rubik! 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 Rubik gets hit by his own illusions. Is there gonna be a rearm? Oh, no. This is the bad time. Bad time. Nice. The blade killing. Oh, Storm with the blade mail gets another kill. Yeah. And Storm's gonna die to town. Yeah. So, throwing. They lose top Rex. Interesting. Yes. They only have Question of the Dota going on. They only took one Rex, actually. Oh, think he wants it. He's gonna come on Laser. Gets a double kill. Fabi in a lot of trouble. Oh, here comes the beginning. But it's a Desolator Prophet. They are throwing 
very hard here. Very hard indeed. That is Van Wall with a Desolator. Because he did take top ranks, he got a lot of money. And is this a throw? Well, <laughs> it's one you know ranks for like... one ranks. I mean, wow. <laughs> and he spent I remember a lot of like... money on Blade Mills. This is this is a crazy game. I, I say game, it still doesn't feel like a game anymore. It's like I'm at Cirque du Soleil, but you have your like hashtag exciting Dota. You have your Chinese Dota. This is hashtag questionable Dota. I I, I don't know finals. what to say. Very dubious plays from both teams. Yeah, I mean they're just trolling. But yeah, it's entertainment value. I, I bet the Korean commentators are gonna lose the voice at the end of the day. And well, mafia. <laughs> uh. I mean, I mean, these these teams learning Dota, so they, they probably learned now, like, okay, Blade Bell hurts Tinker, because he actually went for a Blink Dagger, but you don't want a Blink Dagger when you're against all the math. You've got to go for the Yule Scepter, even though it's expensive, well, not that expensive, but you've got to try to get the Yule Scepter as fast as you can. And, yeah. Well, this Tinker, not, if he ever uses March, if he's just on that mid lane, I mean, if he ever uses March near the enemy team, he's going to die. We're going to see Prophet can backdoor his way to victory now. Just going to... I think he should just try to throne it. But no, the creep wave is too pushed out, so... They're gonna push up top, FXO, they're not taking any chances here, they just realized they lost the Rex. And poor Tinker, he's gonna die again. Goodbye. Oh, he's using rockets, he's not using match, he's just using rockets. Oh, purge up here on Anarchy, Anarchy no trouble, here comes the suicide hook! QO, hops, it, hops his blade mail as well, and he is, no, he doesn't have a blade mail, I'm just kidding. Mech charge, mech charge, come on, mech. Hey, hold the blade, he does have <laughs> oh, Everyone has blade mail. Dagon, is that Dagon I saw, or heard? That's a Dagon for Rubik. Dagon no, Park. No, Dagon. Dagon Park. Oh, Dagon Park. Okay. okay. Once in the racks is Oh, they're walking through the march again. Oh, Tinker, Tinker and Fountain, Tinker and Fountain dead. Oh. Oh, man. Somebody, somebody report FXO. Yeah. Please. No, Prophet, don't go back. Check the tower. The Radiants now have Mega Creeps. Oh, Prophet. Oh, Dagon, Dagon. Zip on in. That's gonna be a kill, man. While will fall, uh, he tries to get a kill there. No. Buyback? Is there a buyback? No buyback. He tries to go for and KP. today. I have the tiger took Raxus off FXO. They're the first team to take Raxus from FXO. It wasn't a true Rax taking in the sense that it wasn't a close game. This game was not close. For anyone wondering, like, oh my gosh, both teams took Raxus. No, this game was very one-sided, but they yeah, still took Rax. There were trolls everywhere. But yeah, the. I honestly think that this format of competition was not too balanced in the sense where FXO's experience kind of... The, the balance of power is not balanced in this league. FXO being way ahead of any other team in this league. So anyone that faces it, them in the semi-finals is bound to get knocked out. And it's not necessary, uh, necessarily... That does not necessarily mean that uh, Tiger Power was the best. Tiger Power was the better team. Well, the, the worst team compared to Eye of Tiger. I think Tiger Power might have been the better team. It could have been possible, but just because they face FXO first means they will drop out first. So they will get a third place or fourth place, but there is no prize for that, I think. I actually thought Bird Gang were one of the the better team. I thought Bird Gang was better than either Tiger, although Bird Gang lost them. Bird Gang actually looked really good. They just had like one or two bad mistakes, but either Tiger played much better yesterday when they beat Bird Gang. Similarly, I felt Bird Gang played really well, but today has just not been either Tiger's day, and FXO, well, they. Hum humiliating victory for them, I would say. Well, they humiliate their opponents a little bit. 412, best Tinker, KR. <laughs> well, granted, he didn't get the best items. He had some. He had really poor map awareness, I must say. And well, it did make his early game really difficult for him. There was a little bit of throwing from FXO. They dive tower, and finally, Fabi gets two deaths. So that is 200% worse than what he normally is. And there's a bunch of deaths on March as well. That's that's 300%. So all of them have died once at least, so EOT has successfully fought their perfect records. And well, 35 to 19, one side of the game, once again 2-0. Is it going to be 3-0? Is it going to be Eye of Tiger picking something spectacular? Level 1 Roshan, I want to see it again. Uh, well, gonna see if that happens. We get a lot of great game cards. I don't know. <laughs> great games. Just very entertaining. Yeah. Entertaining Dota. Yeah. Alright, if you like my cast, follow me on twitch.tv slash Sonora, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, uh, like me on Facebook, at Sonora. all of them the same. Follow BTS Gods on Twitter, like him on Facebook, GGNet Gods, yep. You guys probably know him, Thanks. but still, like him. And yeah, we'll see you guys in game 3. Stat screens where you guys want to see it, and I'll see you guys in the next game.